So this hard reset for the ZTE Grand X4 from Clicker Wireless. The phone must be powered off, power off and remove external memory card to save some files on this phone. Everything is going to be deleted like uh, pictures, videos, contacts, email addresses, passwords, downloaded applications, music and yeah, anything stored in this phone. Okay, And this purpose is to remove password, pattern or pin blocking the screen of the phone. And make sure that you know your Google account and password because after the factory reset, you will have to confirm Google, verify Google, in order to proceed and get to the home screen. If you fail to confirm Google and password, you won't be able to use your phone. So just uh, make sure that you know you have that information before doing this process, okay? If you're ready, you're going to start with the phone power off. You're going to press volume up and power key. You want to press these two buttons together and as soon as the phone vibrates or the CTE logo appears, you want to release only the power key, continue holding volume up. And when you see a recovery menu with blue letters, release the volume up, okay? Alright, ready? You're going to start volume up and power key. Phone vibrates, release power button. Continue holding volume up. Okay, release volume up, okay? So now, we're using your um, volume, you're gonna scroll and highlight wipe data factory reset, volume up, okay? And um, you wanna, or enter okay is gonna be the power button, so just continue and press the power button. And second step, using volume down, highlight, yes. This is to confirm, okay? We talk about everything is going to be deleted and nothing will be able to re restore undone. So just go highlight yes if you agree with that and press the power key to continue. You're going to see wiping data on the bottom of the screen of the phone. Okay, and once the wiping data has been done, you want to get this last message, reboot system now. So just press the power key, that's going to be your enter or OK. OK, and here the phone will be um, reboot or restart. OK, so just here you want to take a few, five to eight minutes in order to get that, take us to the initial setup screen to um, register language and so on and continue to get to the home screen. Okay, if the ZTE logo, like you get stuck there for more than eight minutes, that means something is wrong. So what you have to do is just long press the power key until the screen goes off and then uh, start over again the same process. Uh, what happens is that sometimes, well, the, the motherboard needs calibrate. Sometimes we delete uh, a lot of web history or delete applica applications or just text messages or call uh, history and things like that and we fail to reboot our phone at least three times a month or four times a month okay so you fail to um, reboot your phone then that's the problem that your, your motherboard in somehow gets Okay, so that happens too, so that's why we need to actually calibrate the motherboard, so don't worry about it, just do the hard reset like up to eight times is possible. Okay, and also if you experience uh, drop calls or your phone just uh, go off itself, then that means that something's wrong with the motherboard, not because of cricket, bad coverage service or things like that, okay, so just... Um, sometimes it's the phone actually so just make sure that you know, you do a backup uh, from your Google account so you can back up your contacts text messages uh, picture message and things like that and then uh, you do the hard reset with the place that we, we went through but yeah you need to know your Google and password it's very 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 important okay so now we are here um, you're gonna uh, select so you want to use the language or this phone comes with French Francaise or any other of these two languages uh, so select your preferred language 
for now I'm gonna use the English now let's go and touch the yellow arrow to continue uh, you can insert the your active cricket sim card or and just keep this step uh, since you don't have an active sim card then you're gonna have to uh, register any Wi-Fi so you can verify Google and uh, so for now, I'm just gonna skip this step because I don't have anything on this phone. Okay, uh, set your time zone. Uh, select any of your time zone and then select your uh, date and time. As with the date is January. To switch the month, just touch the arrow and set your date. And then once you are ready, just hit the OK button. Uh, time. Uh, this is the hour. You need to change the hour. Just touch there or minutes and set your minutes and Either a.m. or p.m. Okay, so just touch the options there Okay, now hit next to continue and a Nickname for your phone. This is you lost your phone and somebody else find it after many attempts they are gonna guess your lock screen and if that happens then Google will consider that your phone has been compromised. So they want to ask them to verify the nickname set for this phone. And if they fail to confirm nickname, they want to be able to access to your phone. Okay, so for your extra safety, just uh, set a nickname that you only you know. And uh, so they won't be able to access to your personal information. Okay, when you're ready setting up your nickname, just go and Hit the next button set up your lock screen uh, you can set up a fingerprint set up pin pattern or password um, you can go ahead and do this now or you can also do it after from settings straight from settings so for now I'm gonna choose a no thanks and skip this step skip it anyway Google services, uh, the first option is that if you go to Google search engine, anything that you search, the first uh, result that you're going to get is the one that is closer to your phone's location. So it is very, very important that you leave that on. And also the second one is any Wi-Fi or free Wi-Fi services that are available around your area or your location. They're going to let you know so you can take advantage of it and then also that helps to save your data package that you bought from your carrier. Uh, third one, help improve your Android experience. You're going to receive periodically any updates from Google, I mean uh, Android updates for your phone. Okay, so you can keep your phone up to date. So leave everything on for it is, it is very very useful. Okay, so last uh, next time is location consent. That means that um, Google, I mean the the first location, it's the one that you can have your phone registered straight from Google services. Just check the box. Okay, hit the next button. Okay, this is a user agreement from Cricket, so you can go ahead and review <coughs> review them. And actually, we need to uh, say I agree because otherwise we won't be able to get to the home screen. So we don't have any other option, right? <laughs> so just uh, yeah, you can go ahead and review everything. And just hit the I agree, I agree button. Okay, and now we are on the home screen of this ZTE Grand X4 from Cricket Wireless. Okay, so please uh, subscribe to my channel so you can have uh, my videos as a reference in the future. And uh, find my other tutorials about this phone if you need help with... Um, factory reset or uh, help with talkback or voice assistant in case uh, by accident you turn on the voice assistant talkback um, 
so you can have to you can disable and also if your google I mean, keyboard has been disappeared you won't be able to uh, compose any text message or anything like that i have a video how to reset or restore that also so please uh, subscribe and find my other tutorials about this phone and hit the like button if this was a good information for you thank you